teach you how to replace a filter in the excitation slide of a Mithras LB940. This can also apply to the TriStar LB941 since the excitation filter slides are the exact same thing. First thing you're going to need is some tools, a small screwdriver, the filter, and in this case it is a 485 nanometer filter, and a clamping ring. It would also be nice to have an optical cloth so in case you get any fingerprints on the filter you can wipe them off. The first step in replacing the excitation filter slide is to go to instrument and excitation filter slide. Then eject filter slide. As you can see on the right hand side, the filter slide has now ejected. There's two little pins. Just grab the two pins and remove the slide. As you can see, this is position one, two, three, four, and five. We are actually going to install this 485 nanometer filter in position number two. So we take the filter, we look for the arrow on the filter, we look for the arrow on the filter, and put the arrow with the light path. And the light path is always from the right, so the arrow should be pointing in this direction. We drop the filter into the filter slide, and then install the camp lift clamping ring. Then we take our small screwdriver and tap down gently on the clamping ring all the way around because we do not want the filter to be askew inside the filter slide. At this point, we can take our filter slide and reinsert into the instrument and push it in until it just clicks into place. Once that happens, we go back to our MicroWin software. and click OK. Now we have to add a filter and here we can name it and I'm going to name it 485 nanometer. Now if you want to use it for fluorescence we click the fluorescence or if this was an absorbance filter, you can also click absorbance. And click OK. And then all we do is drag and drop it into position 2. Once that is done, then all we do is click OK. Click OK, and now you successfully installed a filter in the excitation filter slide.